I know that you wrote uh, a book about a UFO, one of the few guests uh, I know that's written a book with UFO in the title. And I ask everybody who comes on this show, uh, Hildy Lysak, have you ever seen a flying saucer and or a ghost? Um, okay, yeah, both, I think. Or maybe I'm just being dramatic. Okay, the UFO thing, I'm probably being dramatic. But the other day, not the other day, like a few, a few months ago, not the other day, um, my dad, so I leave really early for school in the morning. I leave at like 540. So it was still completely dark out. My dad was driving me and we saw this like giant light in the sky. Not giant. It was like a star. <laughs> we saw this light in the sky and it like, it like poof, into the ground. Right. So we thought it was a meteor or something. Um, but like nothing, we heard nothing about it or anything. Um, that's like the only UFO experience. I mean, I've seen like weird things, but no, nothing too like intense, you know. Ghost, however, um, I my house right now that I'm in, I'm convinced I is like super haunted. I really think it is. Um, let me think. Um, let me think of some things that have happened to me recently in this house. Oh, like a few weeks ago, my parents were in Tucson, which is like two hours away for their anniversary for the weekend, and my little sisters were at my grandma's house, so I was home alone. <laughs> and I kept hearing okay so for context this is my bedroom right there's a door right here and then there's a bathroom and then there's another door and then there's my little sister's room then there's also a door behind my mirror that goes to the outside so I was laying down in my bed reading my book and it's not even like you know in movies everything happens at like midnight or something or 3 a.m it was like 4 p.m it was like midday you know it was like like nothing scary could happen, right? I kept hearing somebody knocking on my door, like my bedroom door right here. And like, it wasn't a scary knock. It was just like a, like that type of knock. And then I would go and I would open the door and nobody would be there. And it would go on like a few times every hour. And then it, like at first I almost thought it was funny. I like thought, I don't know, it had to be caused by wind or something, even though it wasn't windy. Um, but when it got dark, I FaceTimed, I remember I FaceTimed my older sister who just moved out at the time she just moved out and she was in Tucson. And I'm like, Izzy, like, I can't be in this house anymore. I was so freaked out. Um, and then I, my grandma picked me up and I stayed at her house because I was really scared. Um, let me think, oh, um, my dad, when we were moving in, so the living room kind of has like all glass, there's a lot of like windows, right? And when we were moving boxes in, my dad saw like this statue of this woman, which was like life-sized, right? And since we were moving in, he wasn't super familiar with the house. So he thought it was just a statue, right? Then he goes in my living room and there was nothing there. And he was like three feet outside the door and he could see it through the window. Um, let me think of other things. Have you, do you have any ghost stories? <laughs> Uh, yes, but I'm here every week and esteemed audience has heard me say that I can't, the version, the ghost story that I have is not middle grade appropriate. I haven't found a way to make it appropriate. <laughs> so every time I've told it, I've cut it out. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let me think. Oh, my old house was haunted too. Um, it was like, I, when I lived in Seals Grove, I lived in this old um, bed and breakfast. So it had like, it had um, two staircases. It had like a, it was, it was just a creepy house, you know? Some houses you just go to and they're so terrifying. It had a really just like creepy vibe to it. And um, my sister, that's probably when, anyway, my sister had like a bunch of awful nightmares in this house, which isn't paranormal, but she's like not that type of person, you know? Um, and then she, my sister Izzy, she saw like a woman who's like going down the stairs in like um like like 1950s clothing and stuff and it wasn't my mom because she was a blonde and she was like 20 but she could only see she could only see the woman through the reflection of the window but there was no one there and it wasn't like she was super far away she was like in the living room and there was a this i'm just being so confusing right now for like a writer <laughs> but there's a staircase going down a couch and then like windows right so my sister's on the couch and she sees in the reflection of the window the woman going down the stairs but like she can check like that and there's no one there um let me think oh speaking of my sister izzy she 
like, and I know this isn't completely paranormal, but my sister, uh, she would have like constant, and she doesn't really get this. She'd have sleep paralysis, which is, you know, like when you like wake up, but you can't move. But she'd see this man who was like standing in her room in this house, like the house I'm in now. <gasps> How did I not mention this? I'm sorry. You asked me like a simple question. I'm just going on a rant. <laughs> no, this is wonderful. Please continue. <laughs> I was... This is like so recent. This is not going to sound scary at all, but it was terrifying. So I was laying down in my bed, like doing my reading. I was up later than I should have been for a school night. It had to be like midnight and it was a windy night. So at first I thought I heard like, I don't know, like wind whistles. You know what I mean? But then I realized it like didn't sound like that. It sounded like a flute. And at first I didn't really think anything of it. I thought that it was just, um, you know, the wind or something. And I was just kind of making things in my head. But then I realized it was a song. And I can't remember the song now, but it was a song I knew. And it was kind of like an older song, but like it had like the chorus and the verses and stuff, but it was being played on the flute. Um, super weird. And I was just like, I didn't, I wish I looked out the window, but I did it. Uh, I mean, I hope it was a ghost. Because, like, if it wasn't a ghost, the alternative would be, like, a man standing outside of my window playing the flute, which is, like, slightly creepier than a ghost. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it for me. <laughs> Maybe he's a very nice man, just the, the neighborhood flutesman. <laughs> <laughs> the neighborhood flute man. He stands outside people's windows at midnight and he plays his nice little songs. I wonder if the police would see that after they were called. They'd think the, the, the same way. Oh, what a nice public <laughs> service you're performing. We're sorry. We we were going to arrest you. But we didn't realize you were the flute man. Please continue. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're just a man standing outside of a teenage girl's window. Keep going. Completely <laughs> normal. <laughs> nothing, nothing out of order here. <laughs> I, I <think. laughs> well, this, and, and I should say Izzy, um, if you're listening, I'm so sorry to hear that that's happening to you. That sounds terrifying. Um, paralysis ever since I, I, since I was a boy and first heard that uh, regarding alien abductions, I thought, well, that must be the most scary thing that could ever happen to you. Aliens, no aliens, just lying there, not being able to move. Um, even if that was, that was the extent of it for five minutes, 10 minutes, forget it. <laughs> that, yeah, that's never happened to me, but it sounds so terrifying, even without like the ghosts and stuff. Like, even if it was just like normal, like, ugh, sounds scary. So I think we've, we've maybe unlocked a new passion here. Is it possible that maybe we'll we'll see Hildy does uh, paranormal investigations at some point? Oh, I would love to. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it sounds like that's a real possibility. 